Welcome to another show, I'm Sid, and I've made a few videos about zoom effects in the past, specifically opening your mouth to zoom in, um, but I've had a surprising number of requests specifically asking for this technique, where the camera is kind of zooming in and out uh, on a continuous loop. So rather than make the project file over and over again and send it out to people, which is what I've been doing, I figured it would be easier to make this video and then link them here instead. So if you've already seen the previous zoom videos, it's pretty similar to that with just a minor tweak. Um, but hopefully seeing the two separate versions will give you a sense of how you can experiment inside of Spark AR to create different types of effects using the same basic techniques. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so we have a new project, switch over to 2D view, open up the patch editor and make a little bit of space for yourself. Now we're gonna right click here and add a rectangle. You can also hit add object, fill the width, fill the height and add a material. Now with that material, we're going to create a patch for the diffuse material texture. Then we're gonna come up here to our camera, click this plus button for texture extraction and drag the camera texture asset inside of our patch editor. Now we're gonna drag out from this RGBA output and add a texture transform patch, which we will connect here to the material diffuse texture. So now our camera has reappeared. We can see ourselves once more, but the effect is not quite done yet. Next up, we're gonna add a loop animation so that we can have that zoom in and out effect. And from progress, we're gonna create a transition, which will allow us to determine how much we want to zoom in and out. By default, it's set at vector three, but we're gonna change that with the drop down menu to vector two. And then we're gonna drag out from here and add a 2D transform pack. We're gonna be affecting the scale. So disconnect from this transform here and connect it to the scale instead. Now we're gonna drag out from this output and connect it to the transform input of our texture transform. You can already see what's going on, pretty solid. Uh, to fix this kind of weirdness, we're going to mirror for a start. So now it zooms in and then zooms back out again, which is the first part of what we want. We're also gonna slow it down in the loop animation to, I don't know, five seconds maybe, looking a little bit smoother. And now you wanna change the pivot point from zero, zero, which is all the way up here to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, which is in the center. Although you can play around with this effect if you want something a little bit wackier. Still looking kind of nuts though, looking a bit like Slender Man in here. So the final thing is to change the transition start value from zero, which is why it goes so small, to one, which will make everything look normal, and then change the end value to something like 1.5, 1.5 maybe, and now you get this interesting zoom effect. You can also adjust the curve here and play around with that. So if, for example, you switch it to bounce in and out, then you'll see it has more of a bouncy effect when it's making that transition. Uh, but we'll leave it at linear for now. Again, experimentation is key. The more you play around with it, the more cool stuff you'll figure out. But yeah, that is pretty much the entire effect. There's not much more to it. I will reorganize all this so you can see how everything connects nicely and then I'll switch over to the FaceTime camera so that you can see what it looks like on me. Hey, and here we are. Um, so yeah, if I turn this around, maybe it's a little bit easier. You get a better sense of what's happening. It's kind of zooming in and then pulling back out again. You can adjust the duration, make it a little bit faster. So maybe 2.5 seconds, or you can go all the way back down to one and it's just boom, boom, boom. You can actually make this so fast, it's unreal. So like a spring, or you can make it so slow that you barely notice it at all. Uh, so it's up to you. Very similar to the open mouth video that I showed you, but with slightly different patches here. So instead of the face tracker and the mouth openness and the add patch, we're just using a loop animation and a transition here that scales in and scales out. Uh, so this 2D transform pack's great. But like I said, this is all about experimentation, playing around. With that being said, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Don't forget to leave a comment, let me know what you thought and just generally engage with the channel because it helps me out a lot and I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey, did you know I have a Gumroad page where some of the filters I make are available for sale? Check the link in the description for more details. I also have a Patreon where you can get them at a discounted rate and help support the channel.